Hello, this is Progressions and Series Lesson 3. In this, I will discuss basic of GP that is geometric progression with examples. Now, what is a GP? GP is a progression of the kind A, AR, AR square, AR cube up to n terms. What kind of progression we can say that it's a geometric progression? A progression in which the ratio of any two consecutive terms is same. In this case, you can see that t2 upon t1 these are conjecture terms term number one and two this is the first term t1 this is the second term t2 this is the third term this is the fourth term and so on ratio of any two conjecture term is same you can see that t2 by t1 if you divide ar by a you will get r if you even if you divide t4 by t3 you will get r ar cube by ar square it will come r so ratio of any two consecutive terms same that progression will be called as a geometric progression this ratio r is called as common ratio this ratio is called as common ratio what will be the nth term of this geometric progression we know that you know that term one is a term number two we have formed a into r term number three is a r square so by common sense since term number n will be a r is to the power n minus 1 you don't need to cram by you can apply your common sense in third term the power of r is 2 in the second term the power of r is 1 so in nth term the power of r will be n minus 1 the power of r is 1 less than the term number so that will be the nth term will be a into r is to the power n minus 1 in any geometric progression the sum of n terms sum of n terms in any gp with first term as a and the common ratio r this is always equals to a into r is to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 where r is the common ratio and a is the first term if a gp is like this a ar ar square ar cube the r common ratio is always generally is defined as tn upon tn minus 1 very important is the tn means the larger one term and tn means the lower term it could be t2 by t1 if you put n is equal to 2 here n is equal to 2 you can put n is equal to 10 that will be 10th term by 9th term if you put n is equal to 12 this would be 12th term by 11th term that is the meaning of common ratio common ratio is not equals to first by two you can't do like this first term by second term this is not the common ratio it is always second by first remember this here i have taken two geometric progression one is 2 4 8 16 and 32 in this you know that first term a is 2 first term a is 2 what is the common ratio common ratio is second term by first term that is 4 by 2 or third by second eight by four this is equals to two so in this the common ratio is two first term is also two now can you calculate the tenth term tenth term of the gp will be a into r is the power nine we know that n at term is equals to n at terms of any gp is equals to a into r power n minus one so tenth term will be a into r power nine this is two into two power nine that is two power ten that will be the tenth term can you calculate the sum of first 20 terms of this gp we know that formula is a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 here a is 2 r is also 2 2 power 20 n number of terms are 20 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 this will be 2 into 2 raised to power 20 minus 1 that will be the sum of first 20 terms of this geometric progression Second geometric progression here the first term a is 32 r the common ratio this is not 2 this is second term by first term 16 by 32 or third by second 8 by 16 the common ratio is half so can you calculate the eighth term term number 8 term number 8 term number 8 would be how much this is a into r power 7 by same logic term number n is a r power n minus 1 the power of r is 
वन लेस देन द टर्म नंबर इफ यू वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट एट टर्म द पावर ऑफ आर विल बी सेवन सो ए इज थर्टी टू आर इज वन बाय टू पावर सेवन दिस इज थर्टी टू इंटू टू रिज टू पावर सेवन इज वन ट्वेंटी एट दिस इज वन बाय फोर सो एट्थ टर्म विल बी वन बाय फोर You can see that this is one. This is term number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven term, and eight term will be one by four. Can you calculate the sum of first five terms in this? Sum of first five terms as five. Sum of first five terms. This will be equal to a into r power n minus one by r minus one. Here a is thirty-two. R is one by four. One by two. Power. This is power five. One by two power five minus one upon one by two minus one. Thirty-two into one by two power five is one by thirty-two minus one. One by two minus one is minus one by two. Solving this, you will get one by thirty-two. This is minus thirty-one by thirty-two into minus two by one. This will one minus one by two will get multiplied as minus two by one. So minus and minus will get cancel out. Thirty two will thirty two will get cancel. So answer will be thirty one into sixty two. So sum of five terms will be sixty two. You can see that sum of five terms you can calculate thirty two plus these are the your first term first five terms. Thirty two plus sixteen is forty eight plus eight fifty six plus four sixty plus two sixty two. Sum of five terms is sixty two. So With the help of formula, it's very easy to calculate sum of n terms in a GP. Now, next concept is infinite GP. Infinite GP simply means that the number of terms in the geometric progressions are infinite. Now, the important question is: Can we find the sum of infinite terms of the same GP? Sum of infinite terms of the GP. Can we find that sum? Try, try. We will try this. This is your first GP. Sum of infinite terms would be how much? We know that sum of n terms. We know that sum of n terms is equals to a into r power n minus one upon r minus one. So can we calculate the infinite? Put the value of n as infinite. Sum of infinite terms would be a is two. What is r? R in this ratio. First, first GP is r is two. Two raised to the power infinity minus one upon two minus one. Now, what is two raised to power infinity? Two raised to power infinity will be infinity. Infinity minus one will be infinite. This almost this will near this will be infinity. Answer will be infinity. You can't determine answer because two raised to power infinity is very very large number. Because two raised to power ten is also one zero two four. So two raised to power infinity very large number. So you can't determine the sum of this kind of infinite GP. Here your common ratio R was. Two, second GP here common ratio is minus three. You can see that common ratio is minus three because minus nine by three. If you divide minus nine by three, this will come minus three. Twenty seven by minus nine. This will also be minus three. So this is a common ratio with R as minus three. Can we find the sum of infinite term in this case? This will be a. The first term is three. R is minus three. Minus three raised to power infinity. Minus one divided by r is minus three. Minus three minus one. In this case, answer will also be either plus infinity or minus infinity. Depends upon uh, whether the number of terms are even or odd. So in this case, you can't determine the answer. What about this third case? Now in third case, we can determine the sum of infinite terms of the GP. We can determine what will be the sum of infinite terms because here the terms are getting almost zero, or you can say that slowly and slowly terms will get close to zero. We can determine the sum of this infinite GP. Let's try it out. Sum of infinite terms. We know that this is a into r power infinity minus one upon r minus one. By the we know that sum of n terms is this. I have put n as infinity. Here a is sixty four. What is r? R in this case r is one by four. Common ratio is one by four. 
you can see that 16 by 64 will be 1 by 4 4 by 16 will also be 1 by 4 so 64 1 by 4 power infinity minus 1 upon 1 by 4 minus 1 now very important to know that 1 by 4 power infinity will almost be equals to 0 or you can say that it will be 0 because you know that let's try it out once you calculate 1 by 4 once you calculate 1 by 4 this is 0.25 1 by 4 square 1 by 4 square this is 1 by 16 this is equals to 0 0.0625 you can see that terms is getting near to 0 1 by 4 cube 1 by 64 this is this is equals to 0 0.015 1 by 4 power 4 this is 0 0.0039 I'm just calculating with the calculator in order to tell you how the term will get 0 1 by 4 power 5 this will be 1.0009 even in 1 raised 1 by 4 power 5 is coming almost to 0 so 1 by 4 power infinity will, all, will almost be equals to 0 so what you are left with this is this is what we can determine 64 into 0 minus 1 upon 1 by 4 minus 1 this is what we left with I am rearranging this I am rearranging this this was this, this will become sum of infinite terms in this GP this will become 64 this was 64 0 minus 1 upon 1 by 4 minus 1 we will write in the better form this is 64 multiply numerator and denoted by minus 1 this becomes 64 1 minus 1 by 4 that will be your final answer that is 64 upon 3 by 4 so 64 into 4 by 3 will be my final answer sum of infinite terms would be this now what is general formula let me make the general formula sum of infinite terms in a GP this is a the 64 by the first term a this is 1 minus r so sum of infinite terms is always equals to a upon 1 minus r sum of infinite terms is always equals to a upon 1 minus r in a GP in a GP a a r a r square a r cube up to infinite terms but very important that your r should always lie between minus 1 and 1 whenever r lies between minus 1 and 1 it means that r is more than minus 1 and less than 1 then only we can find the sum of infinite terms of the gp as you can see this in our case r was 1 by 4 whenever r is 2 and r is minus 3 r does not lie between minus 1 and 1 so we can't determine you can see that whenever r is 2 it is not possible to determine the sum of infinite gp whenever r is less than minus 1 again it is not possible only when r is between common ratio r is between minus 1 and 1 we can determine the sum of infinite terms why so because whenever r lies between minus 1 and 1 you can see that in this case 1 by 4 so r power infinity will become 0 and you can determine your answer uh, sum of n terms we know that this is a into r power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 so sum of infinite terms is a into r power infinity minus 1 upon r minus 1 so whenever r lies between minus 1 and 1 so r could be minus 1 by 3 r could be 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 by 8 minus 1 by 5 whenever r is like this the r power infinity whenever r is like this the r power infinity will be almost equal to 0 you can take that as 0 so sum of infinite terms will become how much a into 0 minus 1 upon r minus 1 multiply numerator and denominator this is minus a upon r minus 1 multiply numerator and denominator by minus you will get a upon 1 minus r as sum of infinite terms of a gp sum of infinite terms of a gp will be a upon 1 minus r where r is very important minus 1 to 1 so this way you can determine the sum of infinite terms of a gp otherwise you can't determine the 
sum of infinite terms of the GP. Now this infinite GP can we find the sum of infinite terms of this GP? We can find you can see that is R common ratio is minus 27 by 81 that is minus 1 by 3. I told you whenever R lies between minus 1 and 1 you can calculate the sum of infinite terms and then the formula is sum of infinite this is A upon 1 minus R A is the first term that is 81 R common ratio this is minus 1 by 3 this is you get 81 upon 1 plus 1 by 3 this is 81 upon 4 by 3 you will get 81 into 3 by 4 as your final answer so that will be the sum of infinite terms of the GP in this case. So that was all about the basics of GP. In the next lesson, I will continue with the questions on the geometric progression. Thank you.